you already know how to set initial properties for controls at design time. You may also want to set properties in code, that is, as your program executes. You may want the user, for example, to be able to clear out the contents of text boxes and label, or reset the focus, among other things. I'll be using this sample program to demonstrate writing code to clear controls. In this form, there are four labels that simply are used as prompts to allow the user to enter data into the text boxes. The labels are not referenced in code, so therefore they're not renamed. The text boxes, on the other hand, are going to be used in code, so therefore they should be renamed. This is the text name box, the text phone, text address, and text occupation. The large label is the LBL message, and three command buttons, CMD message, CMD clear, and CMD, CMD exit. We want to focus on the clear button in this exercise. The purpose of the clear button is to allow the user to clear the contents of the text boxes as well as the label. So let's open up the code window for this clear button. As you can see, I've already written a, a comment that describes the purpose of this procedure, that is, clear the contents of the text boxes. To clear the contents of a text box, we need to reference the name of the text box, in this case, TXT name, and we want to affect the text property. So TXT name dot text equals, and then quote, quote. This is known as an empty string, or a null string. A null string is no space between two quotation marks. That will simply clear the contents of the text box. Make sure you do not put a space between the quotation marks, as you will actually be entering a space into the text box rather than a null string. We now need to do likewise for the three remaining text boxes. And there you have the code to clear the contents of the four text boxes. Let's run this program to see how it works. I'll type in some data for each of the text boxes and click on display message. And that causes the have a nice day message to be displayed. Clicking on our clear button, you'll notice that the four text boxes have now been cleared, but the label has not been cleared. And that's because we simply did not write code to cause that to happen. Let's return to the code window and see how we would clear the contents of a label. It's done in much the same manner, except you need to recognize that a label does not have a text box, rather it has a caption property. But you still set it equal to the null string. Now when this code is executed, the label will be cleared along with the four text boxes. We'll run it one more time, and I'll enter some data. I'll click the Display Message button, and then if, I'll click on our Clear button, and you'll note that the text boxes, as well as the label now, are cleared. Notice, however, that the focus remains on the Clear button. That is, the user's eye is still directed to this Clear button. That's because that was the last action taken by the user. It would be nice, however, for the user to be able to be directed to go directly back to the name box to enter another name. We could cause that to happen automatically by using a set focus method. Let's return to the code window and enter this line of code. This line of code is txt name dot set focus. Set focus is a method, not a property. It is not found in the properties window and is only available through code. That's essentially the difference between a method and a property, that a method is available through code and not through the property window. I also use this opportunity to comment that you can write remarks by directly on the line that you would like to make a remark on. For example, I could simply type an apostrophe that says, this will place the insertion point on the text name box. By doing this, I'm placing a comment directly on the line that I want to reference. This is perfectly acceptable and is good programming technique in addition to writing a comment that gives you a general idea as to what the entire procedure is doing. Let's run our program once more to make sure that all these things are happening, that is the text boxes, 
and labels are being cleared as well as the focus is being reset. I'll enter some data, click the display button, and now when I click clear, note that the insertion point is automatically placed in our text name box. Given the user this ability to clear the text boxes or labels can make your program much more user friendly and much more useful.